Hi, John Valvano here. In this last video, I'm going to pretty it up, uh, make some Gerbers, and then try to get online and buy it. Okay, all right. So uh, I like to put my name on things. So I'll put my name on here. And you can see if I do a shift enter, I can have multiple lines. Lab six, shift enter, EE445L. Okay. So I'm going to add, and you can see it uh, made it the wrong stuff. So escape. So I got to gotta change its uh, type here. I don't want it in copper. I want it on um, silk. So I'm going to make it a place. Okay. So T place will make it a silk. Okay. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do is uh, duplicate it because I'll put the, my name on the other side as well. So I'm going to duplicate it over here, and then I'm going to mirror it. We'll put it on the other side. Okay, so I got my name on both sides. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just look for things that uh, will look ugly. Uh, like if I zoom in here, I can see I'm going to just move the, the silk screen. I mean, the silk screen around so it's not so ugly. So one silk is not on top of another silk. I'll leave that one. Let's see, and then I can I hit a right click and shift it around as well. Um, now it's uh, you notice that the red and the silk screen overlap. That's going to be fine uh, because it'll be uh, it'll be covered. It's just that these things here, uh, you don't want the silk to be over top of you don't want the silk to be over top of a hole or in this case over top of something else. So I'm going to move this around. Okay, uh, this um, will obviously help me build it, solder it down. Now you can see the um, silk screen here is the wrong spot. So you got to be careful. I, I get the correct one, of course. Mm -hmm. There we go. And you can also see which one is attached to, so you don't inadvertently move things under the wrong stuff. Now this U here is going to be under the chip which is fine I don't care but if it's if you'd like to um, yeah I'll leave it there okay so here uh, 650R again you can see I'm moving things around so that when I when it's printed uh, it'll it'll look pretty now obviously that's on the other side but still pretty and again these guys here are, are, are overlapping and so again I'll make them similar in style here and I zoom out to see mode looks good 10k now that's going to be underneath okay but so you may want to move it so you can see it once it's soldered um yeah let's move around here led um see all I'm doing is is making it look pretty uh once it's uh once once it's constructed okay so that i don't have two silks on top of each other or have a silk okay you see that i see is right there where's the now you got to be careful to hit the you know hit the uh yeah i don't want to hit the uh, a trace i don't know where that one is there it goes So there's a little white cross here somewhere or not I don't know maybe there isn't one okay let's see this is going to be my uh, 3.7 uh, supply here we go there's one okay okay so that's gonna go here I'll make it go over there you see what I'm doing I'm just making it easy to I'm making it pretty to when it when it gets silk screen okay see all these guys are under there again there's not really enough room so I'll put it over here and these um, uh, labels will obviously oops like you can see that I got it wrong you see that I want to attach this guy to that so it'll let you put it anywhere you want but you really probably want to put it associated with the thing you're building and I can do a right click if you want and rotate it around. This is the um, this is the the um, 
uh, debugging header. And so one of the things I could do is add some documentation ground. Okay. Uh, again, we're going to make it it's the wrong one here. So let's make it smaller and the right thing. And then we'll duplicate it. Okay. I'll make it top silk. Or is it bottom silk? Okay, I'm looking. Top silk. Because I'm going to program it from the other side place. And I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something smaller. There we go. And now for the other ones, what I'm going to do is just duplicate it. So I got all the, do all the, the. Okay. I'm, again, I'm, I'm documenting because somebody's going to have to plug in these signals, right? And that will help the the user. This one's TDO. This one is TDI. Now, for lab six, I suppose I don't care, but this one is TMS, and the last one is T-Clock. Okay. But if you're, you know, if, when you get to lab 11, having this thing easy to, to connect up um, yeah, will save you a lot of time. Okay, so let's see what else did I make that's pretty already. Never found out where that one was. Okay. Um, okay, so once I have things uh, where I'm happy, that, that where I have things where I'm happy, um, I will um, do a design rule check, once again, obviously, in case I, you know, it's a save. Do a design rule check just to make sure it still passes. Um, yep, oh, no errors. Okay, so that's good. So it is ready to be built. Uh, you need a CAM file. A CAM file is the instructions for creating the Gerber files. And there is a separate CAM file for every version of Eagle, every version of your potential, you know, whether you've got KiCad or, or Altium or whatever, uh, and for every manufacturer, okay? So in this case here, we're going to go two-layer um, um, two-layer JLC PCB. Okay, all right. So to create a Gerber file, we're obviously going to create it from the PCB file, okay? And what I'm going to do is execute this, called a CAM processor. See it right there? CAM processor. And now I've downloaded that CAM file, and I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to load it up uh, and... At. I happen to have done it before, so it'll be in my recents. Um, and so I'm going to open up the CAM file here. Okay? And now I'm going to process the job. Okay, so what it does is, now you can see what it does. Um, you can see a board outline is layer 20. Uh, top, top copper is layers 1, 17, and 18. Bottom copper, 16, 17, 18. Solder mask. Um, solder paste. Uh, now the top silk screen. Um, this you can see that what was 21 and 25 are going to show up, and whatever was 27 or 29 will not. Okay, and the same thing with the bottom. So it tells you which layers of your circuit are going to actually be constructed. Okay, in terms of boards, copper, solder mask, solder paste, and silk screen. Okay, process job. Okay, here we go. And it creates a zip file. Ta-da! Look at it. Right there. Save. Okay. So embedded in that zip file are uh, everything about the everything about my project. Okay. Uh, so I can buy it. <clears throat> okay. So I'll go to the main page of JLC PCB, whatever, wherever you want to buy it. And, uh, you know, upload it at a Gerber file. See it right there? Add a Gerber file. And I'm going to find it wherever I put it. Just 
Spring Solution. All right, there is the Gerber file right there, the one I just made. Okay. So I upload that Gerber file. Um, it prints out a bunch of really cool things. Um, yeah, it shows me what it's going to look like. Isn't that awesome? Look it. That's what it's going to look like. That's what my board's going to look like. All right, the top side with my name on it and uh, the silk screen and the bottom side. You notice they flipped it for me so I so all my traces are, are looking good. So this is the part I'm going to see uh, when I take the cover off the box. Okay, And uh, the LEDs, the switches, um, which will go over here, the two LEDs, the slide pot, and um, the jumper for the for the output. Okay? And so all I got to do now is buy it. You know? All right. So somewhere down here, it's going to... Okay, what color do I want? Okay, so that's the PCB thickness. I want green. I want white. Uh, yeah, how much copper I want. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not tested flying probe. I don't know. Push the button uh, and buy it. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it for... Uh, yeah, you got it over there. Saved a cart. Okay, it's going to cost me uh, seven dollars and and ninety cents to get five of them made. Okay, so in that way, uh, you know, so in lab six you don't actually have to buy it. In lab seven, uh, you're going to send it to me and I'm going to buy it. All right, enjoy.